Thanks for stopping. What a place to break down, huh? Guess you need a ride. You mind? Hop in. for an alligator. Too big for a lizard. What is it, a baby dinosaur? It's a snake. What uh, kind of snake? A mean one. Oh, great. Look, it ain't getting out of there. So relax. How far is the nearest town? A little place called uh, San Catalano, just up ahead. Wait, you just dropped me off there. Busted open. Oh, Hang on a second. <laughs> Buddy, I'll be back as soon as I can. Nice to meet you, finally. Hey, how you doing? Oh, you have any trouble finding us? No, just following signs. San Diego County's fastest growing community, huh? Yeah, well, I hope it doesn't grow too fast. Well, it's nothing like what you're used to. Oh, by the way, I'm going to be staying on for an extra week. Uh, make sure you get squared away. Good. <laughs> I'll take all the help I can get. What's that? That, my friend, is the reason I'm getting the hell out of Dodge. I noticed that new development on the way into town. How could you miss it? I don't care what anybody says. I think it's a damn eyesore. And now they got this phase two, it's going to be twice as bad. Yeah, I heard Caltrans going to put a highway through here. You know, when I first moved here, it was like paradise on Earth. I mean, it was special. Now it's going to be like every place else. That's what they call progress. 
Yeah, well, I'm in the vast minority. Everybody else around here thinks Max Farrington's God. Max Farrington? I'm not gonna poison the well. You'll meet him soon enough. Make up your own mind. Consistent isn't good enough. We need sales to be booming, and we need to get to the next level, no matter what it takes. I'm already working a seven-day week. I've given up having any kind of a social life. Well, there's not much of a social life to be had in this town, but that's all gonna change. You watch. Mm, well, not that I'm in any kind of a hurry. At least this job puts back what you put into it, unlike most relationships. Oh, by the way, Johnny's been asking about you. Well, I don't think we have much in common. I don't know. I think he'd be a pretty good workout partner. I'll stick with my Stairmaster, thank you very much. Look, man, I, I, I don't mean to be ragging on you, but I've got a lot invested in this project, and now I'm starting to catch heat from the lenders. I know, it's okay. Let's go to the picnic, huh? Okay. Is he going to fight with it, though? Because he's going to no, be used to make, it being around. They make a wonderful couple. You like it here. The people are real. And if you need help, they'll be there for you. Oh, sure. Oh, George, I thought you were going fishing. I am. First, I have to break in our new fire chief. This is our new fire chief. Well, hello. It's very nice to meet you. I'm Vera. Are you single? <laughs> <laughs> Vera owns a local pet shop. You know, if a cat gets stuck in a tree, they call Vera before they call the fire department. Hey, did I hear something about a new fire chief? Mr. Mayor, have you met Vic? So far, we've just talked on the phone. Oh, you know, I'm impressed. I mean, you got the whole town out here to greet me. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that you mention it, follow me. Uh, oh, uh, to answer your question, I am. Don't be shy. Come on. Come on, come on. Follow me. <laughs> Hello, folks. Hello, kids. Hello, dogs. Well, as we all know, our beloved and longtime fire chief is retiring, going fishing. I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce you to our new fire chief, Vic Rondelli. So let's give him a sincere small town welcome, shall we? Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Thanks very much. much. Well, that, that really did, did sound, sound sincere. sincere. Listen, about being behind schedule uh, and the pressure that we're under, that's I'm just between you and I, okay? Of course, Max. Oh, there's Bill yeah, Mary. Yeah. See you. And I got a lot to learn about this place and about all of you, so... You're welcome to stop by the firehouse anytime and introduce yourself. So, uh... Well, I'm gonna try to do the best job I can, and, uh... Well, the only thing I ask is, somebody save a burger for me. He's adorable, don't you think? Very. With so many new people moving here, planning is essential. Especially if we want to keep San Catalano the you know, way we uh, like it. I don't believe we've met. No, we haven't. But I already know all about it. I don't think we know how lucky we are. <laughs> I've only been in town for now. <laughs> Welcome to Small Town USA. We really do if we think about it. Now, I want to take this opportunity to introduce... What's that? I don't know. It's a 
Okay, that's cool. Now I'd like to bring up a man whose vision gave us all this, a man who is putting our little town on the map, Max Farrington! Friend of yours? This picnic is for you. The people of San Catalano to gather and to get together with your new neighbors. Now, we're not just about building homes. We're about creating a total environment where you and your families can prosper. Let's go somewhere else. Wait, I just want to check it out. Important part of the Farrington team. Makes my job a whole lot easier. If you've met her, you can't help but love her. Our VP in charge of sales and marketing, Miss Mandy Stratford. I'm on. Mandy? Thank you, Max. You're welcome. Well, I just wanted to add a warm welcome to all of our guests who are joining us today. Please feel free to mingle with the homeowners, enjoy all of the food, and ask me any questions that you might have. God, what happened? He's dead. What? I guess he was bitten by a rattlesnake. D did you see it? No. I never heard of anyone dying that quickly from a rattlesnake bite. I am so sorry. If you need anything, please call me. Did you? I knew I should bring some. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There are, there are no words to describe how terribly I feel for you two right now. I'm sorry, folks, but I need to get some information. Look, uh, why, don't, why don't we go do this someplace else, okay? Do you need a ride back to the station? Yeah, sure. Uh, I've never seen anyone die so quickly from a snake bite. Do you know a lot about rattlesnakes? I was deputy fire chief in a suburb of Tucson. We get half a dozen rattlesnake bites every summer, but no one ever died. Lacey said the snake was huge. Well, I'm sure it looked huge to her. Women tend to exaggerate these things. Excuse me? Well, you know how women are when it comes to snakes and spiders and mice. No, I don't know. How are they? Well, let me rephrase that. Some women. How about some people? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just upset. Thanks for the ride. Welcome to San Catalano. 
I wish it could have been a happier occasion. Just float it. All right, if I have to pay the penalty, I will. I just can't discuss this right now. Um, I know I'm new around here, but I just wanted to let you know how sorry I'm about Jake. Thanks, Mr. Andelli. When you're up to it, uh, well, I'd like to talk to you a little bit more about what happened. What do you mean? Well, about the snake. I mean, it's unusual for a rattlesnake to attack somebody. Just Jake didn't do anything wrong. Wow. He just wanted to look at it. Lacey, you OK? Now, it's not that I don't believe you. My concern is for public safety. If there's some abnormally aggressive rattlesnake out there, Excuse I've just got to. Obviously, whatever you're talking about is upsetting her, so why don't you go lightly? Well, I'm sorry. It's just that, uh, well, I, I need to know what happened. That boy was the victim of a very tragic accident. Now, case closed. <laughs> well, that's not your call, Farrington. Your title is fire chief, correct? What does any of this have to do with the fire? All right, guys. No. Come on. I'll walk you back. Mrs. Holland, just, just calm down. Just, just, just take a deep breath, okay? Everything is going to be all right. Have you called anyone else about this? That's good. You just stay put. I'm on my way. What's up? Someone just found a snake under one of the houses. A rattlesnake? She didn't say. You sure it didn't come from up on the hill? Tammy said it came from under that house. All right. Yeah, Ken, it's Max. Look, I need you up at phase one right away. Holden house. No, no, right now. Yeah. What's up, Mr. Farrington? You have a flashlight in there? Yeah. Well, grab it. You're going to need it. The uh, Holden's dog found a rattlesnake inside this foundation. I'm going to need you to go inside there and check it out for me. A rattlesnake? Yeah. Is that a problem for you, Ken? No, sir. Good man. Who are you calling? Fire department.
What did you find? There's a whole bunch of them in there. All right, let's get an exterminator up here, ASAP. I want you to take this carcass and bury it somewhere, and be discreet. Did you find anything? Good news. No more snakes. But just to be on the safe side, we're going to go ahead and fumigate this foundation here. And yours too, Mrs. Holden. Why mine? Well, it's always been a policy of ours never to take any chances when it comes to our homeowners. Ah, we called the fire department. I did. A smart girl. Sorry, Chief. False alarm. Oh, Mandy said you found a rattler. Yeah, a dead one. And nobody was hurt. Where is it? Foreman's taking care of it. Now, Mrs. Holden, while we're fumigating, I'd like you and your family to be my guests at the end. Great. How big was it? Pretty big. Oh. But you know women. We tend to exaggerate these things. <sighs> I just well, felt it should be reported. Yeah, well, your boss probably wishes it hadn't. What you looking for? Reports of rattlesnake bites or sightings. Maybe you should talk to Jack Kelly. I saw his exterminator truck up in phase one. I'll meet you at the car. Jack. I'm Vic Rondelli, I'm the new fire chief. Hi, Vic. Nice to finally meet you. Spiders. You know, I, I heard you were doing some fumigating up in phase one. Did you find any snakes? Sure did. Half a dozen, actually. Rattlesnakes? Yeah, big ones, too. Well, biggest I've seen around here. You, uh, you mind if I take a look at it? Not at all, but we burned the carcasses. And why'd you do that? Well, that's what the client asked for. The client being Max Farrington. That's right. I'll guarantee one thing. I'll be getting a lot more work out of Farrington and Associates. They found six more snakes under that one foundation. We had a problem and we dealt with it. And no one's reported any more snakes. That doesn't mean they're not out there. Look, you saw what happened to Jake. What if someone else in phase one gets bitten? That was a totally random incident. And what if it wasn't? Let's get the construction crew together and go on a snake hunt. Right. And then word gets out that we have a snake problem. Sales plummet, the company goes belly up, it's over for me and you. You're out of a job. Then, then let's at least fumigate the rest of the homes. That's a great idea. I'll have the exterminator back up here again next month. No, Max, this is a problem right now. Look. We had a family of snakes living under one of our unfinished homes. Those snakes are gone. End of story. Hmm? You're the boss. I haven't seen any snakes, have you? Mm -mm. Yeah, they found a nest of rattlers under a house in the next block. Listen, until we figure out where these things are coming from, I think it'd be a good idea if you played up on the pavement. You know, I couldn't have said it better myself. Did you know that the average adult length of a western diamondback is four to five feet, although some have been known to reach a length of seven feet? Vera told me about a snake website on the internet. All the snakes under that foundation were at least seven feet in length. Which means we're dealing with something very different. But a western diamondback is the only snake indigenous to this area. Yeah, is your boss planning to post signs around here? If there really is a problem, I'll get out there and post signs myself. I'm going to hold you to that. How'd you find out about the nest? Exterminator. Thought I'd go right to the source. What are you going to do about it? I'm going to go on a little snake hunt. 
Hey, you want to come along? I don't think I'm wearing the right shoes. Well, I got a spare pair of boots in the truck. Probably not my size. Oh, come on. Extra pair of socks or two would be OK. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm going on a snake hunt. Am I crazy? Oh, lovely. Are you sure you don't have anything in a lady size seven? You know, you don't have to do this. I won't hold it against you. Oh, no, I'm going. I'm going. I'm not crazy about snakes, but I'll deal with it. All right. They have pits below their eyes with nerve endings a thousand times more sensitive than human skin. That's how they know whether an animal is prey or an enemy from its body heat. Although most rattlesnakes will flee in the presence of an enemy, except for the tropical rattlesnake, which they say is the most aggressive. Uh, I don't think we have to worry about too many tropical rattlesnakes around here. <gasps> oh. Those tropical tree branches. Now, they're vicious. <laughs> so what will we do if we catch one? I don't know. Kill it, skin it, throw it on the barbecue. <laughs> you know what they say. Tastes, Tastes like, like chicken. chicken. <laughs> I can make myself a cute little pair of snakeskin boots. Cut off the rattle, make yourself a new keychain. Hey. Whoa. Two o'clock in my tent. We were just kidding. Move, move back real small. <laughs> Stay still. Don't move. Vic. Get him! Got him. You better have him. Possible to helicopter me out of here? I think this is my last snake hunt. Didn't make it through the boat. Oh, that's good. That's good. I'm gonna put my boot back on. Can we go home now? Yeah. Did you hear that? Run for it. Come on. I don't hear him. Wow. That was pretty <sighs> intense. Can we go home now? You ever been to a herpetologist? Excuse me? Snake scientist. Never. Well, it was always the first time. Let's go. <laughs> All right, Vic. Let's see what you got for me. Shut up.
Definitely more aggressive than I've ever seen. This is no Western Diamondback. Okay, then, what is it? Well, there's a test I can do. Crack that for me. This is highly unusual. Unusual good or unusual bad? Well, scientifically speaking, it's rather remarkable. This venom is much more like that of a tropical rattlesnakes, which is about 50 times more toxic than any snake found in Southern California. I wish I could give you more answers, but I need some time to study them. Well, how's two hours? Well, I figured we'd go out and get a bite to eat and then stop here on our way back. Well, I can't promise you anything. Look, uh, I know this is rushing you, but the sooner we find out what we're dealing with, the better. All right. I'll see what I can do. Was that a backdoor way of asking me out to dinner? <laughs> well, come on, you are hungry, aren't you? Well, I'm hoping my appetite will return after we leave here. No offense. I never gave much thought to snakes before. The reptile kind. Speaking of which, how do you like working for Max Farrington? Max has been really good to me. I was going through a really rough time when he offered me this job. Aha, uh -huh. you're running away from something. Bad relationship. Okay. What did Vera tell you? Well, it wasn't Vera, it was George. And welcome to small town USA. That's all true. I needed to make some big changes in my life, and I did. No regrets. So what else did he tell you? <laughs> what else do I need to know? Oh, no, that's my deep, dark secret. What's yours? Well, I thought you knew everything about me. Not everything. Ever been married? No, not that I have anything against it, but there's only been one woman I've ever known that I wanted to marry. And? She was married to someone else. Oh, that's complicated. It gets even worse. Her husband oversaw my department. Oh. Now it's getting interesting. A girlfriend once told me that work is the best refuge for a broken heart. You believe that? I do. About 12 to 14 hours a day, and then I go home to my empty house, and I begin to wonder. <laughs> you know, San Catalano doesn't seem like the best place to meet eligible men. And that's why I live there. It's called self-imposed exile. <sighs> Does it bother you that your boss made the exterminator burn the remains of those snakes? Look, I know what you're thinking. Yes, we've had some construction setbacks. No, homes aren't selling to their original projections, but Max just doesn't want to alarm people. Well, how about warning them for their own good? Why do you think I went on that snake hunt with you? There's a problem I want to know about it. Even if it means going against your boss? You don't know, Max. He may be under a lot of pressure, but in the end, he'll do the right thing. This snake is a real killer. It has characteristics of both the tropical rattlesnake and the western diamondback. And yet it's neither one. What it is is a combination of both. I contacted a colleague at the local zoo. Someone there in the reptile department remembered an incident that happened 20 years ago. The zoo had acquired an unusually aggressive tropical male rattlesnake from the jungles of Costa Rica. They decided to have it transferred to a research lab back east. Now, apparently the driver of that truck got into an accident out where Highway 12 meets the 315. That's just before you get to San Catalano. Yeah, well, the rattlesnake got loose, bit the driver and another person, and then disappeared into the hills. It was never seen again. 
Unfortunately, both the driver and that other passenger died. So you're thinking that this tropical male made with some Western females? Well, the species seldom interbreed except in artificial conditions, though it has been known to happen. Oh, well, that, that's got to be the answer. So for the last 20 years, some whole new rattler's been breeding in the hills around San Catalano. But why are they only appearing now? Well, this is the time of year that snakes start coming out of hibernation. Wait, I've read the files. You'd think there'd be some report of people being bitten by rattlesnakes or dying from snake bites. Well, this is earthquake country. I've heard of snake dens being disturbed by earth tremors. Oh, my God. What is it? Well, there's a big new housing development being built out there. They're using dynamite to grade the lots. And this development is where the snakes have been appearing. Yeah. Well, in that case, it is very possible that this construction has encroached in an area where these snakes are used to hunting their prey. You're sure it was one of these things that bit Jake? Well, not absolutely, because we didn't catch that snake. But based upon what Lacey said, we're pretty mm. sure that... that girl was hysterical. The venom from a Western Diamondback would have never killed someone that quickly. It had to have been one of these mutant snakes. Mutant snake, okay. Let's say you're right. What do you want me to do? Get Max Farrington to suspend all dynamiting and construction in phase two. Then we get Dr. Watkins out here to do a thorough study. Any idea how long that would take? Dr. Watkins understands the urgency. He'll move as quickly as we need him to. Shutting Max down, that's asking a lot. He's got deadlines to meet. Well, what's more important, his deadlines or the safety of this community? Listen, I hear you. It's just that I don't want to act rashly. Better safe than sorry. Quite a day. Yeah, well, we should do it again sometime. Sure, let's just leave out all the parts having to do a snake. <laughs> you know, I'm leaning towards inviting you in, but I have a feeling I wouldn't get any sleep. Well, what should, what should we do? We say goodnight, reluctantly. I was afraid you were going to say that. Good, Good night. night. Vic, would you mind checking under my bed for snakes? I'm <laughs> just kidding. Good night. Good night, Mandy. I'll see you. You better. Oh, no. I've discussed it with the mayor, and we've decided to continue grading. But you have no idea what's going on here. All I know is one person dies of a snake bite, and you're ready to declare a national emergency. There were seven of those things under one of your homes, and probably hundreds more where they came that from. That does not justify shutting down my entire operation. Matt, so I you're thought... saying that your operation is worth more than people's lives? Look, if I shut down, dozens of people are out of work, and it jeopardizes this town's whole economy. 
This is not about money. Well, it's easy for you to say you have nothing at stake here. Max, I was up in those hills. I saw those things with my own eyes. I've already talked to Jack. He's going to fumigate the rest of the homes in phase one. We're dealing with it. That's not enough. Well, it's good enough for me. Bottom line, Rondelli, you do not have the authority to shut me down. And whose side are you on, anyway? Fuel stored too close to the explosives, the shed isn't properly ventilated, and you're one fire extinguisher short. Okay, we'll get right on it. And these kind of violations give me the legal prerogative to shut you down for 24 hours. Which is just what I'm doing. You gotta be kidding. He's shutting us down. You wanna play hardball, huh? So, have they fumigated your house yet? Oh, they're coming over later this afternoon. We've already shipped the kids off to Grandma's. Dave and I are spending the night at a B&B. Oh, some quality time, huh? Oh, yeah. Anyway, I'll get a run. OK. That'll be all. and he didn't sound too happy. Well, no more after this phone call. This is Watkins? Yeah, it's Vic. Look, I'm gonna put you on speaker. I'm here with George Mitchell, my predecessor. We did some preliminary genetic testing, and this rattlesnake is unlike anything known. It's completely new to science. You want any numbers on how many we might be dealing with? This is just a rough estimate, but assuming they started breeding here 20 years ago, we could be looking at anywhere between 25 and 35,000. All right. Let's say they put up this new housing development in a place where the snakes were used to hunting for food. Given the aggressiveness of that specimen, you think these snakes would attack humans unprovoked? No. The problem is they're disoriented and confused, which means that they're more likely to attack first and ask questions later. But Vic, what really worries me here is they've just begun to come out of hibernation. This is only the first trickle. In the next few weeks, there'll be a hundred times as many coming out to look for food. They just came from phase one. A homeowner was bitten to death by a rattlesnake. Uh, listen, Vic, I just heard that. Maybe I better come out there. Yeah, that'd be good. And, uh, we need to hear yesterday. This is no random incident. We got ourselves a problem here. I'm gonna need your help. Comes trouble. What is going on here? Blowing a roadblock. Element residents and emergency personnel allowed beyond this point. Well, on whose authority? The sheriffs and the fire department. Did you even think to consult with me? It wasn't time. 
dealing with the crisis here. Two people are bitten by snakes, and you call that a crisis? They weren't just bitten. They died. Look, I'm moving up our city council meeting to 8 o'clock tonight. We need to discuss this under calmer conditions. Yeah, well, in the meantime, I don't want anybody coming in and saying Catalano doesn't belong here. You're going to start a panic. You got nerve, I'll give you that. about posting signs? She had two small kids. You know, Vic, if these snakes really are hybrids, they need to be studied. Yeah, well, right now we gotta get out and warn people. Maybe we won't have to post those signs after all. residents into nightmares. Reports of a deadly rattlesnake infestation have been circulating throughout the community since the death last week of a 17-year-old high school student who was bitten by a snake in the woods near his home. Fire Chief Vic Rondelli issued an official warning as he spoke to us earlier this afternoon. Back. We just want people to be aware that uh, people shouldn't take walks in the tall grass. Karen, you get Mandy on the phone Door, right now. Windows shut at all times and Keep your pets inside, too. The evening news has found out right that the latest cue. casualty was a young mother of two who was bitten by multiple snakes in the garage of her home. Hello, this is Mandy. Now, uh, hi, Karen. Yeah, I'll hold. Hello, Max. Yeah, I know. We're watching it right now. Okay, I'll be there in a minute. Bye. What a surprise. Boss wants to see me. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm a big girl. I'll be fine. On second thought, can I just borrow one of these? Why the hell didn't you tell me about this? A woman's dead, Max. A woman with a husband and two kids. And I feel terrible about that. But it does not justify setting off a panic. So what are you going to do? How are you going to protect these people? Well, obviously, we need to be proactive. What we don't need is some fire chief running around like a loose cannon. Look, Max, I know how to turn this whole thing around and make Farrington and Associates look like the big heroes. I'm listening. Okay. We hold a press conference. We invite snake experts, city officials, citizens. We tell them that Farrington and Associates is going to be funding a, a scientific task force to look into the problem and offer solutions. That means we have to stop production. Homeowners will be living in fear. New buyers will be pulling out of escrow, and prospective buyers, well, they're not going to want to set foot here. So what are you going to do, Max? Nothing? You coming to the city council meeting tonight? Of course. Good. Make sure you bring your new friend, the fire chief. What are you up to?
that despite all efforts to revive her, Olivia Porter was pronounced dead at the scene. All the more reason for this emergency session of the City Council. Now, to begin with, we should start with the expert on snakes, Dr. Matthew Watkins. Hopefully he can shed some light on all this. Doctor. Mayor. Well, let me first start by saying that in the world of poisonous snakes, there are two basic types of venom. The first attacks the central nervous system. The other attacks the vital organs. The venom of the specimen that I examine contains a powerful combination of both, which means the snakes you're dealing with here are by far the most lethal I've ever encountered. You only examined this one specimen, correct? It was the only one I had to examine. Well, are you saying that this is the very same snake that bit Jake Ellison? The chances of that are pretty slim. So this specimen could be the exception and not the rule. It's too soon to know that. Let's say this snake is the rule and not the exception. What can we do to protect ourselves? Well, first, you'd have to locate their dens. One way would be to capture a snake, implant it with an electronic homing device, and then follow it back to where it lives. And then what? Kill them all? Shouldn't we be concerned about the balance of nature? If we just wipe these snakes out, aren't we upsetting the whole ecosystem? The ecosystem was already upset by the intrusion of this tropical rattlesnake 20 years ago. I have a better solution. It's not a quick fix, but it's ecologically sound. We import some of the rattlesnake's natural enemies, like the king snake. They're immune to rattlesnake venom and harmless to us. You want to bring in more snakes? Harmless snakes. Here, I'll prove it to you. Now, this is Henry. Ew. He's a king snake, <laughs> and he makes a terrific little pet. OK, Vera, you made your point. Put your pet away. I love him. Dr. Watkins, is that a viable solution? With all due respect, if my estimates are anywhere near correct, you'd, you'd have to import king snakes in by the thousands. How long would it take to do what you're talking about with this homing device? We had to euthanize a specimen to do our analysis, so a new snake has to be caught. Then that snake has to be sedated, a radio transmitter implanted. The problem is it may take days or even weeks for it to return to its den. Excuse me. Three residents have already died. And every day, more of these things are going to be coming out of hibernation. Mr. Rondelli, you'll get your chance when I open the meeting up to guests. But these people need help now, tonight. So noted, sir. Now, please. Mr. Mayor, may I be recognized? The chair recognizes Max Farrington. Thank you. I want to apologize for being late, but I had to wait at my office for some documentation to arrive. What I have here is a report from the Committee on Public Safety. It's a watchdog group in Tucson, Arizona. May I see that? Now, according to this report, Mr. Rondelli was given a strong reprimand for, and I quote, willfully disobeying the orders of a superior and conduct unbecoming a public official. It also goes on to state that Mr. Rondelli negligently put firefighters under his charge in harm's way. Yeah, that's one side of the story. It says the committee was made up of impartial citizens. Impartial, my ass. Mr. Rondelli, this action against you is on public record. However, I should remind everyone that he neglected to put any mention of this incident in his resume when it was submitted here last November. Yeah, because it was all a lie. Is that the reason, Mr. Rondelli? Or is it because this report shows you as someone who's given to reckless and impulsive behavior? And if there is no truth to these findings, then why would you try to keep it concealed from the city council? Mr. Rondelli? Look, folks. I'm not saying that we don't have a problem here, but I think we should all try to keep it in the correct perspective. Well, that's what I've been saying. Now, apparently, the bulldozing and blasting being done by my company has disturbed a number of rattlesnake dens in this area. OK, what's done is done. We don't need to sit around and debate that. What we need right now is a plan of action. So first thing, tomorrow morning, with the help of all the volunteers I can muster, Mayor, I'd like to go back into those hills, find out where these things live, and eradicate them once and for all. Here, here. Yeah.
So you want to tell me your side of the story? No, it doesn't matter. It does to me. Well, I got on the wrong side of someone in a position of authority. And he tried to railroad me out of the department. The husband of the woman you were in love with? We got a call one night. Fire in a single family residence. When we got there, the roof was fully engulfed in flames. Mother was hysterical. Daughter was still inside. I went in, my men followed. We got the girl out. One of my men didn't make it. So he twisted it all around, made it look like I was negligent. Thus the tribunal, thus the reprimand. And the woman? Sorry. That took some time. I got over it. Well, I just wanted to make sure you were okay. You know, I'm leaning toward inviting you to stay. <sighs> no. No, I, I really should be alone tonight. I was afraid you'd say that. Bitten before? I don't know anyone in my profession who hasn't. That's why I carry this. It's the strongest anti venom made. I dropped some off the hospital, too, just in case. I brought some sodium cyanide along just to try on these snakes. Just thinking more like a nuclear bomb. I think we're okay. So we don't have to cancel the game? Yeah, the only sightings have been clear on the other side of town. I mean, why worry the kids when we don't have to, right? Check on your right. Where's this road go? Old mining road. Take your time, don't hurry your wind-up, and stick with your best stuff. Hey, Dad. Go kick some butt. comes first. Uh-huh. It's gonna be a good day today. I can feel it. Let's go Wildcats! Keep it up, guys. That's not funny. Water? Thanks. There you go. So, how's he doing? Who? Oh. Vic. He's okay, I guess. He went to school with my older brother. I've known him for years. Thing about Vic, he's a survivor. Let's keep going.
one. Possible snake attack at the baseball diamond. Respond code three. Pull you out of there. I have to do this real carefully. Okay, now I'm gonna reach down real slow, and I want you to try and grab my hand. Snake attack at the Little League game. I don't know, man. Let's go. You go on ahead. I'm gonna check something out. Why were our kids allowed to play here if this town is infested with rattlesnakes? Mr. Mayor, you care to answer that? The problems were all happening in phase one. How did they get all the way across town? Well, forget how. The fact is, these snakes could be anywhere. Vic, did they use the anti venom That was too late. Did you find anything up there? Just some individual snakes, none of the dens. Now, four people have already died from these things. Your son was about to be number five. I've got to get to a phone. I've got to make some calls. Here, use my phone. Thanks. Now, you listen to me. These things are going to be coming out of the hills by the thousands. We're going to have to get people the hell out of here. You mean an evacuation? Well, you saw the way everyone panicked. How many more are we going to have to die before you take this seriously? I'll go to City Hall and make the announcement from there. Thanks again. While you're at it, call the governor's office. We're going to need all the help we can get. You know, um, why don't you and Farrington go start evacuating all the residents out of phase one? We got to ride down with somebody else. Max stayed behind. I, I, I don't know where he is. Well, you have to get started with Adam. He'll probably fire me. <laughs> There's more at stake here than my job.
appreciate this. Are you all set, honey? Left to do. We gotta block off all the access roads leading up to those canyons. Let's dig out those barricades. Let's go. Yes, sir. Okay, let's go. Well, Vic, I just got off the phone with the governor. He said we can count on him for whatever aid we need. Great. We need a medevac chopper and more antivenom, as much as we can get our hands on. What am I supposed to do with my animals? I can't just abandon them. Don't worry. I'll help you load them into your car. It should only be a couple of days. I found Mr. Ferry. Listen, I'm going to be right over to help you. I just need to deal with this first. He's up at phase two with Ken. They're loading all the dynamite into one of the trucks. I tried to tell him what was going on, but he wouldn't listen. He's acting really strange. Max, what are you doing? What I said I would. I'm handling the problem. What does that mean? You'll find out. Ken, can you tell me what's going on? Look, all I know is Mr. Farrington offered me a big fat bonus if I'd help him. Help him what? I guess he found those snake dens. Let's go, Ken. It's gonna get dark pretty soon. Two more people have been bitten. It's simple. You identify a problem, you address it. Then you make it go away. Those are the principles I've built my career on. This is not a business problem, Max. This is a nature problem. Let us know if there's anything else we can do. Where's Mandy? Last I heard, she was evacuating phase one. Calling your cell phone now. We did. We just ended it a little too soon. I'm going to call Dr. Watkins, get his opinion. <sighs> Max, this really isn't a good idea. What is this? Come on, I'll show you. Hear them? Oh my God. They're in there. What are you thinking? We're gonna get the dynamite inside there, blow it. Collapse the mine. Crush them all to death. Max, we need the experts to deal with this. Okay. We just sit back here and watch that. Ken, you've gotta talk him out of this. Hey, we're already here. We might as well give it a shot. It's too dangerous. Max is the boss. Deal coin to base, come in. Deal coin to base, come in. Deal coin to base, this is Mandy, come in. Please respond. Is anybody there? Somebody, please. Give it up, Mandy. Max, don't do this. They're gone, it's all up to us now. Give me a hand. Let's get this fence out of the way. I got it, I got it. We gotta get the dynamite as far back as we can.
Vera's Vera's pets. Hi, it's Vic. Is Mandy with you? No, uh, but actually, I'm, I'm expecting her to show up here. When was the last time you talked to her? Oh, about an hour ago. Did you, did you try her office? Yeah, no answer. And she doesn't have her cell phone. We have a chance to end this all right now. I need you. Let's pull forward.
Mandy, is that you? Oh, oh Vera, I can't believe it's you! Mandy, where are you? I I'm trapped in an old abandoned mining shaft. Max and Ken, I think they're dead. You gotta get Vic. Slow down, honey. Now, where are you? Max found where the snakes are breeding, an abandoned mining shaft. There are thousands of them. He tried to, to blow them up with dynamite, but it didn't work, and there was an explosion. You, you gotta get me help. Where are the snakes? <laughs> they're outside, but they're trying to get inside. Please hurry. All right, I I'll, I'll go find Vic. You stay put. Keep this radio on. I'm not going anywhere. a lot in this area. I, I think I know where it is. Stay on this road. It, it's going to bend to the left. See right over here. in there. I'm hanging. I'm hanging. Water seepage. We've got a lot of earth to move. It means we're going to need some heavy-duty earth movers, which are typically found at construction sites. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. Can't they go any faster? Honey, they're moving as fast as they can. Hey, hey, be careful, be careful! The windshield's starting to go! Sure this stuff will work? It should penetrate their skin. At the very least, it's gonna immobilize them. Instantly? Pretty quick. Here you go, Vic. Go! 
Okay, Jack. Back it up. Mayor Parker said the National Guard are coming in to smoke out the rest of the snakes in town. Ha <laughs> ha. 